L.A. County Sheriff's deputy nearly killed in the Las Vegas shooting continues to recover tonight at a Fullerton hospital. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler spoke with her and her husband and joins us live with their story of survival. Stacy. Well, Susie, in their 42 years of combined service with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the deputy wife who's recovering here and her sergeant husband have seen a lot, but nothing like what they survived in Vegas. Tonight, they told me they learned a big lesson. Doing better day by day, day by day, doing better. It's taking baby steps. Like I had to learn how to walk all over again. They don't come easy, but baby steps are all this Los Angeles Sheriff's deputy hoped for after a bullet shattered her pelvis and punctured her intestines at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. This picture was taken just before the shooting. Deputy Lori Kammer and her husband Todd, a sergeant with the LA County Sheriff's Department, were several feet from Rachel Parker, the Manhattan Beach police employee killed at the music festival. It happened to be her 46th birthday that weekend, so we were there celebrating her birthday. The moment she was shot, Cameron's husband shielded her, and a stranger helped him stop the bleeding and keep her awake. With the amount of rounds that guy was putting down, I wholeheartedly believed at some point I was going to get hit. Luckily, bullets flew past him. Then strangers helped him load his wife into a truck. That, to me, restored you know your faith in mankind. She spent days in critical condition in a Las Vegas hospital. Just last week, she was transferred to St. Jude's Hospital in Fuller. Closer to family and closer to the hope that with up to four hours of physical therapy a day, she will soon fully recover. And I was just overwhelmed with all the support that I've received, all my co workers, um, the sheriff himself. Deputy Cameron's husband says all the support has sped up her healing. This deputy is grateful she survived to share this message. We take things for granted. The little things, don't take those things for granted anymore. Things can be gone in a minute. And Cameron's friend started a You Caring. Uh, it's, a go for, it's a funding website to help them pay for any additional expenses. So far, they've raised $17,000 of their $18,000 goal. She's crossing her fingers that maybe next week she'll be released from the hospital here. That's the latest from Fullerton. Back to you guys in the studio.